Yeah. You want to. On the Malcolm of Chaotic Nightmares, she has used to form her face. It's adorable. <laughs> Firecrotch! Hey, guess what? My latest comic, Who Watches <laughs> the Watchmen, has sex, just got published in Weird Tales magazine. I worked so hard on it, and it's finally out there in the world. Nothing can ruin this moment for me. <laughs> And that sounds like a challenge. Leonard, come on. Why do you always have to slide into my DMs? Delighted moods. Because I must shed light on injustice wherever it arises. <laughs> what about world hunger, global warming, income inequality, human trafficking? You didn't let me finish. I must shed light on injustice wherever it arises. In the world of fandom, specifically. Oh. Cool. Social justice warriors win again! Wow, that was actually pretty good of a voice there, forgetting what he sounded like. It is not cool, Zoe. It is not cool that publishing houses are showering attention on marginalized authors just because inclusivity is hot right now. I mean, look at you. You've got it all. You're purple. You're allegedly a woman. You come from a hideous dimension beyond mortal comprehension. Any magazine would die to be able to associate you with its brand. But it's all a shallow marketing stunt. And what's worse, it's distracting from the real injustice that the liberal media is too scared to discuss. What about the artists who aren't part of some cool, sexy, underrepresented minority? What about us? How are we supposed to get recognized? Hmm? If I was to entertain all the BS you just said, I'd say, I don't know, maybe through a combination of talent and the numerous connections and avenues you have available to you as privileged members of society? Don't you use the P word around me, Missy. If I'm so privileged, then how come my comic, Zombie Sluts on Fuck Island, still has yet to be published? Because you spend all your time complaining about non-existent obstacles instead of getting better at art? Hmm. Perhaps you have a point. <laughs> oh no, wait, I forgot. You were a girl. This can't possibly be my fault. It's much more likely that the entire industry is biased against me. Uh, like, looks like, looks like there's only one way to solve this. You're way ahead of her. You select the only option that makes sense. For years you've possessed the Gem of Garoto, a powerful artifact capable of raising four people from the dead. Why not resurrect four great artists and ask their opinions? Or use the Cal Art sorting hat to determine the objective value of the two comics. Oh man. Ooh, God, I feel like that's kind of creative. Uh, okay, um, I don't something know. is gonna be smart. Oh shit, you only have creativity. So we might fail this. Just pick what you uh, like. I don't know, which one's gonna be more creative and creative than the other? I would personally go for the first, but it, I okay, don't know first. based on like, what's going on. That's a smart one. No. <laughs> You were saving the gem of Garoto, Garado, either way, to resurrect your family in case they all died tragically for some reason, but this seems just as important. Wow. You reach into the nether realm and summon Velazquez, Goya, Picasso, and El Grico? Hmm. <laughs> That's you. Wait a second. These are famous painters. These are the stars of them. Wait, oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh, this hurt my voice now. These are the stars of Senior Regular Samurai Frogs, a classic cartoon from a simpler time. <laughs> Velasquez, you like my comic better, right? Um, uh, hey dudes, this is Velasquez. Thanks for bringing us back from hell in which we were now reside, but uh. We don't know anything, you don't know anything about her, do you? No. <laughs> All we know is about eating the water. All we know is about eating the lasagna. Spoiler alert! I you knew it. Suck. You break fire crotch, but totally useless. You are definitely getting rejected today. Yes, I Oof. am. Now, what are you gonna do if your whole family gets killed for some reason? You lose minus two and minus. Two I know, minus right? Two. What's gonna Let's happen go. if my family dies? I don't know. I don't know. I can't summon um, El Greco. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, that's me. Let me get back here. Okay, so we got smart. I think we got smart. We got charm. This is good. I can't go there. We don't got enough time. Um, we'll go to no class is the shop. I can't go to the gym, so we'll go. You know, I feel like we could use some more creativity, I guess, or some more charm money. No money is good. I don't know. Oh my goodness. We're stuck, guys. We're going to the auditorium. Ashley. Sorry guys, but we're back. For once it seems you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. But afterwards, while taking, while taking, while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point in a discussion. So you decide to convey it through music. He starts singing and suddenly everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that the people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. Oh, joy. You gain plus two creativity. Rehearsals for the play are going smoothly as they do at any populated any school populated by monsters. As a good castmate, you're more than happy to run run lines with Vera, and not just because she looks great in her costume. <laughs> I love that. And for doing that with a moldy grapefruit, and with my mother no less, you must die. And then the director said I could improvise any kind of assassination I want. Now, I'm someone with a reputation for knowing a thing or ten about murder. So I don't want to just go with some run-of-the-mill knife through the eye kind of deal. <laughs> what kind of unexpected on-stage murder would really knock them dead, so to speak? Bore them to death, or a complicated killing machine involving jello pudding, a ceiling fan, and a chrysanthemum. I just said yes, jello pudding. I was so southern. I don't know if that's creative or fun. What if that's fun? Um, that's probably creative, though. I like, think it's fun as much. Um, bored them to death is just probably smart. Or, yeah, you know, let's go for it, because I feel like I can win this one. Or maybe I that's think, not fun. I think the top is going to be smart and the bottom is going to be creative. Oh, no. Um, yeah, you know, we could go this. So let's go with it. Oh, you got it. That sounds unnecessarily complicated. Which is exactly what I'm looking for. Together, you and Vera set to work creating the most spectacular murder machine of all time. By the time the orange rind and corkscrews are in place, this thing is really coming together. This thing looks fantastic. You know what? I think I'm going to end up marketing and mass producing these. Vera Oberlin's murder machine. Destroys your enemies, sends faxes, and makes a mean cup of coffee. And since you did have a small part in suggesting small. it, there can be some small print at the bottom. Original murder conceived by Cuntsickle. A machine <laughs> that'll yeah. wow the audience uh, on stage and the consumer audience as well. And wow them, it does, as it becomes an instant bestseller, uniting you and Vera forever See, in an adventure is, of theater, you, entrepreneurship, and bloodshed. If you weren't trying to date people, you could become the bad badass. I know, right? But you're trying to date people, so you're giving other people the credit. And it's not fair, because you're, like, you're discrediting yourself. Carly, you're, you're great. You did the... <laughs> Thank you. you did her just now. From the pre-sales, you gain plus two money, not to mention Vera's admiration, and plus one boldness. Ooh, I'm going good. Oh, wow, you got her admiration. Look, we only